Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how we can create AWS EC2 instance using Terraform and deployment via GitHub Actions. Okay, so as you see in my screen, I'm in the Visual Studio, Co Visual Studio Code where I have downloaded, where I have uh, uh, cloned my GitHub repo, and also it contains a, 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 a GitHub. Uh, dot github folder and a workflow sub workflow subfolder which contains my um, which contains my github actions related configurations and also i cont it contains um, a main dot terraform file at the root folder okay so to know more about all these configurations in details please do watch my previous video where i have explained everything from the scratch in regards to this okay and also uh, one kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot okay with that note let's get started okay as you see um, in in my um, GitHub repo, there is a one more uh, Terraform file with the name with the name ec2 dot tf file. Okay, as the name says, uh, this is the whole and sole file which is responsible for creating the uh, the all the uh, required services of uh, provisioning the ec2 instance in AWS account. Okay, it contains end to end um, definition about uh, in regards to create the ec2 instance. Okay, in general, yeah. So let me quickly walk you through this um, uh, Terraform code. Then I will show you the demo of how you can. Uh, provision the ec2 instance using uh, github actions okay so as you see let me um, let me quickly walk you through the from the top of this uh, file okay yeah so here in the first line i'm just creating the uh, random grid okay using this uh, block okay the block is again uh, random underscore pet okay yeah so again uh, so let me tell you uh, this is a resource the keyword is random underscore pet is the keyword uh, or the resource type for it and this is the variable okay yeah so that is about um, a random uh, grid creation purpose okay yeah and after that i'm creating the aws vpc uh, yeah so this is the block which does that okay so uh, it's it's a resource okay and the uh, resource type is aws uh, underscore vpc this is the variable yeah this variable will be used across the uh, code okay indeed that is allowed in aws um, that is allowed in the terraform code yeah whereas I would recommend you to uh, take care of uh, the uh, code errors okay in that case yeah inside this uh, terraform in the inside this flower bracket block we are giving the required parameters yeah one is the cidr block uh, the my cidr block for this bps is is 172.16.0.0 forward slash 16 okay so that is the uh, cidr block for my vpc and the inside the tag, the tags block we are giving the name of my vpc okay that is this is my name of the vfc vpc yeah and after that uh, inside this vpc we are creating a subnet okay indeed we need a subnet where we can provision the network interface and that network interface will be used by our aws ec2 instance okay so that's the reason i'm creating here so as you see this is the block uh, which is responsible for creating the aws subnet using the terraform it's a resource and this is the resource type that is aws underscore subnet it's a variable yeah this is the variable and inside this flower bracket block we are giving the required parameter one is the vpc id as you see here the vpc id has been referenced from the above code block itself that is the aws uh, underscore vpc dot uh, this is the variable of my vpc and this is the id okay this is the id attribute okay so this is uh, nothing but a reference to the above uh, created vpc okay only yeah inside this cidr block we are giving the required parameters uh, cidr block for the subnet yeah so that is 172.16.10.0 forward slash 24 is my uh, subnet cidr block okay and the name of the tag is name equal to uh, the subnet hyphen uh, quick clouds pocs okay that's what the name i'm giving to my subnet yeah and after that i'm creating um, aws network interface okay so as you see here uh, so this is the block which is responsible for doing it yeah um uh yeah so so this so let me uh, let me tell you the one more thing that so inside this um uh, so this is the block okay this block will be executed after the once the subnet is getting created yeah so uh let me quickly walk you through this one as well again um it's a resource and the resource type is aws underscore network underscore interface okay this is the uh, resource type for creating the aws uh, network interface this is the my variable yeah inside this uh, flower bracket block we are giving the uh, the subnet id parameter that is again referenced from the above subnet definition only then the private ip address okay this is my network interface ip address this is the this is the private ip address okay henceforth um, uh, we are uh, giving the uh, the parameter that is uh, private hyphen ips yeah and after that uh, the name of my network interface is again nick hyphen yeah this is my name so nick hyphen quick cloud poc is the name yeah after that um, so we are creating the one more resource that is the network um, that is the security group okay that is the aws uh, security group yeah so uh, this is the block which does that yeah 
and again it's a resource uh, the key uh, the resource type is aws underscore security underscore group this is the variable which does that yeah this is the variable which stores the data of that uh, security group inside this flower bracket block we are giving the required parameter that is the name yeah uh, so this is the name of the security group which gets uh, dynamically created yeah so as you see here I, this has been referencing the above um, random guido okay so the random id will be retrieved here okay and uh, the suffix okay that is hyphen sg will be attached to it okay that makes the name of the security group okay and after that i am attaching this security group to a vpc okay the vpc which i have created above hence for the vpc id is being referenced here okay as you see this is the vpc id and the value will be assigned to this parameter that is vpc underscore id yeah and after that inside this flower bracket block with this is the egress block okay that is the ingress block okay that is nothing but inbound um, rule okay where the from port um, to port protocol and the CIDR blocks are been given yeah whereas uh, so this is a, just a, a demo purpose uh, definition of uh, aws security group whereas for your use cases please do explore and and also include the further required para properties as well right required parameters as well like uh, egress definition and further definitions as well yeah and after that uh, we are creating the um, aws um, uh, that is ec2 instance okay this is the definition uh, which is uh, finally uh, okay meant for uh, creating the aws instance okay this definition will consume all those um, resources which we have created above okay again so let me quickly walk you through this one this definition as well as you see here the aws ec2 is a resource again and this is the resource type that is aws underscore instance uh, instance yeah and this is the variable which stores the data of this aws instance creation inside this flower bracket block we are giving the um, emi that is the aws uh, managed images okay so this is the image id yeah, which i will be using to provision my aws uh, ec2 instance this is the instance type yeah instance type is t2.micro which is free one okay so let me make a note here that uh, you make sure that you always um, provision the free services okay if you are crossing the free service limit then you will be uh, costed okay that will make you cost uh, or if you are if you are provisioning any services which is not a free in aws that will also makes a cost to your account okay yeah and after that um, um here um, i'm giving the network interface information that is that is the network interface id uh, the in network interface id will be referenced from the same uh, network interface resource which we created above and this is the again id uh, attribute which will be returned from the uh, which will be retrieved from the above uh, network interface definition okay yeah, and the, and the index of the ec2 instance is made as a zero okay yeah so that's it this is a straightforward uh, quick code walkthrough of creating the um, ec2 instance uh, via terraform okay so as you see here i have made some changes in this file and now it is uh, in the uh, in in the in the source control okay so let me make this um, uh, uh, let me make this uh, uh, stage and make a commit to my local branch okay I'm just giving the message in the commit. Okay. Uh, once I uh, made a commit, as you see here, the change is successfully committed to my future branch. Yeah. Uh, as you see here, I'm currently in the future branch. Okay. Future branch one. Future branch one is nothing but I, I denote it as a development branch. Okay. Development branch is the branch where I will be uh, doing my coding stuffs. Okay. Okay. So henceforth, I have committed to this branch. Okay. And also, I have one more branch with the name uh, main. Okay. So that branch, I will denote it as a production branch. So that is the, the main production branch through which I will be um, releasing the infrastructure to my uh, to my AWS account. Okay. So this is the feature branch as it say, as it mean for development purpose. I will just I will just make a code and make the upstream branch sync so that the uh, Terraform uh, plan stage will automatically kick in and it will give me the summary of Terraform plan. Okay. Yeah. So that Terraform plan will indeed make me uh, to understand that what are the changes this Terraform uh, will make if I release it. Okay. Yeah. So as you see here, I'm just making this feature branch to get synced with upstream feature branch one. Yeah. So I'm doing it by doing this. Yeah. As you see here, the currently the synchronization is getting kicked in. Okay. So once the synchronization is completed, automatically uh, the changes which I made here will be automatically synced with my upstream branch. My upstream branch is nothing but the branch which sits in the GitHub account. Okay. Yeah. So as you see here, the synchronization got successful. Let me let me take you to this uh, uh, the my GitHub account. As you see here, so this is my uh, GitHub account. Yeah, inside this GitHub account, I have a, um, this is my GitHub repo. Inside this, I have the uh, just as I show. Let me show you that I have the two branches. So the main, which I denote it as a production branch. This is the feature branch, which I denote it as a, a development branch, where I just now made a, a code changes. Okay. Yeah. Once the changes are made, let me take you to the GitHub actions. Okay. One action should be get kicked in. 
okay that is the terraform plan okay so the terraform uh, plan hyphen um, infra hyphen plan okay as the name says uh, this is the action which gets automatically invoked whenever i make changes in my feature branch one and make a synchronization with the upstream branch okay so we did just now and and, and it got invoked okay so let me quickly walk you through the logs of that uh, terraform plan hyphen infra plan um, uh, action yeah so let me uh, open it yeah so once uh, as you see here okay it, the, there is a, a the general message has been been um, uh, uh, been printed out of, out of this terraform plan stage okay as you see here in the, indeed okay it is telling that it's going to create some certain resources okay it says that aws underscore instance um, aws um, um, demo will be created here okay so that's what the message says so this is the instance which gets created okay so let's count this is the one service it's going to create in our aws account yeah and it is creating a network interface like that so it's it, this is the number two and it is creating a security group this is number two, three yeah and we are creating a subnet okay the again number four let's count it as a number four and it is creating a aws vpc okay so this is number five okay so yes you had say yes sir right? we, we made a right count okay as you see here the summary says it's going to add five uh, uh, resources in the aws account zero changes and zero disturb okay so that's what our terraform plan stage is telling okay and as we walked through the logs of the terraform plan we came to note that what are the changes our terraform will do if we run the terraform apply stage okay yeah so now um, to make these changes to happen in the aws account okay so let me make a note before that that uh, the terraform plan till now has just created a plan okay it has not yet provisioned any resources in the aws account okay to make the resource get provisioned i need to make a create a pull request against my feature branch one to a main branch okay so that's what i'm doing now so i'm creating a pull request from my feature branch one to my main branch one okay so that i can merge the changes from uh, from this branch to main branch yeah once the pull request gets merged to um, uh, to main branch nothing but we are pushing some code to to our main branch okay when we once we make the changes or once we push us the code to our main branch then automatically uh, one of our github actions will be invoked okay so that is the final um, github action which gets invoked and it will responsible for that is the responsible for provisioning the required resources in the aws account okay so let's wait for that and let's see the what are the logs tells to us okay uh, it has just now successfully uh, get uh, got provisioned okay yeah uh, got got successfully merged okay so let's let's wait for it yeah uh, it's a bit slow uh, but let's let me uh, refresh it one more time so that i can show you that yeah so here you go okay so the terraform um, uh, the apply stage has been successfully invoked okay so let's see let's parallelly see what are the uh, what the logs says okay what how does logs uh, informs us about okay so as you see here uh, the terraform apply stage is getting invoked now yeah it is getting provisioned okay it, it actually provisioning the resources in our uh, aws console okay yeah aws uh, account okay so this is the lock which is lively getting um, uh, showed here okay so the whatever the locks i'm showing you it is a live okay yeah so uh, as you see here so it is uh, still creating the uh, network interface uh, network interface got successfully created now it is creating the instance okay yeah uh, how i am come to know that means uh, how i came to know about that that aws instance is getting provision now is by reading the log okay as you see the line number 28 okay it clearly says that it is creating the aws hyphen underscore aws underscore instance dot aws um uh, to uh, aws ec2 demo okay so that's what the uh, the still getting created okay the, that lag is telling me that uh, the aws instance is getting provisioned now okay so let's wait for uh, some time so that it, it finish up the uh, the the terraform um, apply stage okay so once the terraform apply stage gets completed it means that it uh, uh, the pipeline has successfully provisioned the required infrastructure at the aws account okay so let me uh, wait for that yeah as you see here the instance got successfully provisioned here you go the terraform um, apply hyphen infra release okay so that uh, action got successfully provisioned and we are good with it okay so let me finally quickly walk you through that lag as well before i show you the resources okay so as you see here, so okay this is what the message says okay it said it has provisioned the um, uh, random id it has provisioned the vpc it has provisioned the subnet inside that vpc it has provisioned the uh, the security group it has provisioned the network interface okay finally it has provisioned the um, the uh, it has provisioned the um, what is that it has provisioned the aws instance as well okay yeah. so at the end okay as at the, at the end it says that apply is complete a resource, five resources have been successfully added 
zero changes zero changed zero address drive okay yeah we are good with it the terraform um terraform apply hyphen yeah so this is the pipeline name okay terraform uh, hyphen um terraform hyphen apply hyphen infra release okay so that got successfully released okay let me quickly show you if the instance got successfully provisioned okay so let me so this is my aws account okay where i was doing the infrastructure check coding using terraform and the deployment via github actions okay so that's what i was doing till now as you see here i am in the uh, the ec2 dashboard okay and the dashboard shares the uh, the the, uh, the one like uh, the uh, it says that instance one instance count one is running now yeah and uh, okay let me take you to there as well here you go the instance is successfully getting um, getting running okay so let me show you the state as well here you go the instance is successfully running now yeah so let me open that instance um yeah it says that the instance is running okay yeah so that makes the uh the as you as you know that okay so as you know that the aws um ac2 instance got successfully provisioned um via terraform and we have deployed the same uh, same via using the github actions okay so this marks the completion of uh, uh the aim of this demo yeah, okay um thanks once again thanks for watching our videos and also kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot okay with that note thank you thanks a lot